Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the most overlooked and yet potentially more important pages in all of web development. That's right, we're gonna be talking about the 404 redirect page inside of Webflow. Let's do it. All right, so this is gonna be a fun little video today, guys. I'm very excited you're here. I wanna do three main things in this video for you today. One, I wanna give you three or four tips and tricks with examples on how you can level up your 404 redirect page inside of Webflow. Two, I wanna give you three clonable 404 redirect pages that you can copy and paste into your Webflow site today. These will be linked down in the description below. And then thirdly, I wanna show you where you can customize your 404 redirect page inside of Webflow. All right, let's go. All right, so I think there are three main ingredients that you can use to level up your 404 redirect pages. You can use these in different combinations and different proportions, but these are the three main ingredients to use as you'd like. The first ingredient is to stay on brand. The last thing you wanna do when your visitor clicks a broken link is to end up on a stale, white, old, blank 404 redirect page. You wanna keep them within the brand of your site, within the story of your brand. You wanna keep them engaged. So. A couple of good examples of this, I think are Pixar. When we come to the redirect page, we get this cool little character from inside out. She's crying, she looks cute, it's fun, it's playful, it keeps things light. You can tell you're still on Pixar's website. Another good example of this is Spotify, and I'll refresh this for you guys. But you can see here, when we hit this broken link, we get this cool little record player that spins, it says 404. We get a little kind of pun over here, relating to music, staying on brand, keeping things light for the visitor. Now, the second ingredient I think is probably the most important, and that is to add humor to your 404 redirect pages. Now, what does this do? Well, a lot of the time your visitor, they've just clicked a broken link, they're lost, they're confused, they might be getting a little angry. The best thing you can do is to diffuse all of that tension with a little joke, a little humor. A couple really good examples of this are the Lego website, which has a really cool, everything is still awesome joke here from the movie. It's fun, it's light. You know, maybe you even get a little laugh out of your visitor. Uh, it's no big deal. Every web page has a broken link, right? It's fine. Another good example of this is this page right here, just this random Polo Garcia website that when you hit it, you get like this weird, <laughs> you get this weird video of this squirrel skiing, which, you know, how can you be mad when you look at that? You know what I mean? How can you be mad? So keep it light, keep it humorous, keep it fun. All right, so the last ingredient I think you can add into your 404 redirect page to make it fun is to make it interactive. Let the user, let the visitor click around on things. Make it seem like the page isn't just a catch-all utility page to redirect people around. Make it fun, make it interactive, keep them engaged by maybe mouse animations or hover animations or things that you can click. So a couple of cool examples of this. Probably my favorite one is this one from Dribble, really awesome site called Dribble, um, where you actually have this interactive scale that actually like lights up different colored projects in the shape of a 404. And so you can drag this around, you can get different colors. But the cool thing is you can actually click on any of these and it links you out of the page to a specific project. In this case, this Mount Fiji drawing. So that one's really cool. All right, so another really cool one is this DFY site that when we hit their 404 redirect page, we get this cool astronaut like fading away, but we get this really cool like mouse thing. And when we hover, it like adds time to the clock. So it's just fun, you know, it feels like you're still on the site. You're not on like a utility page lost in the middle of your website. You're still interacting with the site. All right, so those are the three ingredients that you can use to level up your 404 redirect page. Use as many of them as you like. I think the more the better. If you can mix branding with humor and interactivity, you're golden and most likely, the visitor is not gonna leave your site. Now, let me show you three Webflow clonables that you can use right now in your site if you don't wanna build one out yourself. The first being this really cool space playing around with animation clone where as we scroll down this 404 page, the stars actually align into a 404. So really cool animation here. Again, I'll have this linked down below. You can copy it into your site. We have a cool little button that takes you home. But just a really cool animation here um, for your 404 page. The next one is going to be this really cool interactive 3D cube. So using that third ingredient I talked about earlier, just like with the last one, where when I move the mouse, I get this, <laughs> it's, kinda, it's kinda weird, but it's a cube of 404s. And you can move it around and it hovers, and I think it's really cool. I think if you're in a bind, if you need a quick 404 page, something fun, 
you know, clone this and throw it in your project. It's really nice. And then the last one is just this really fun little door hanger animation. You can see right there when you hit it, um, it just kind of dangles there for you. It keeps it fun. You can probably make this interactive too uh, on mouse hover, things like that. Um, so again, mix in those three ingredients from earlier, keep things on brand, keep things light, and keep things interactive. I think you can do those with these three clones. Now the last thing I wanna do is I wanna hop into Webflow and show you where you can customize your 404 redirect page. Where do you do it at? Well, let's hop into Webflow and I'll show you. It's very simple. Go into your project. Uh, you're gonna hit right here where your pages are and then you'll have all your pages, all your CMS pages. But if you scroll down, we'll have two utility pages that come with every website. You'll have your password page and your 404 page. Just click your 404 page and then you can edit it and customize it like a normal Webflow page. So that is where you do it. So anyways, guys, that's the end of our fun little video today. That was our high level Webflow 404 redirect page overview. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, get down in the comments, let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're enjoying this content and you wanna see more of it in the future, consider subscribing. We're almost at 500. Let's get there this week. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate all your support and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.